Ben Stein is going to go on Fox News Channel, and he's going to say something that's true. That's already funny in, in and of itself. Ben Stein is a right winger, and honestly, I'm shocked that, uh, that he's admitting this. He's obviously completely right in this case because he's quoting real facts. It's going to almost make Fox and Friends heads explode, right? But what's also shocking about it is that when somebody says the truth on TV, and of all places on Fox, it's so different that you're like, whoa, that's weird. Somebody said something true on TV. Here, watch. I, I hate to say this on Fox, I hope I'll be allowed to leave here alive, but I don't think there's any way we can cut spending enough uh, to make a meaningful difference. We're going to have to raise taxes on very rich people, people with incomes of like, say, two, three, four million a year and up, and then slowly, slowly, slowly move it down. 250 a year, that's not a rich person. So you don't think Washington <clears throat> just has a spending problem? I do not think they just have a spending problem. I think they, they have partly a spending problem. But they also have a too low taxes problem, and uh, with all due respect to Fox, whom I love like brothers and sisters, well, they that sounds taxes like, are too low. That sounds like Bull Simpson. It is Bull Simpson. So you agreed with the deficit? Yes, they, they have to cut spending and raise taxes. But, wow! Okay, now, wait, wait. In the period where taxes were high, we, our economy was booming. Are they going to talk about that? Actually, believe it or not, they are. Here, watch. More revenue was brought in during the Bush years than any other time. Well, because the economy grows growing during that time, uh, but uh, it, even more revenue would have been brought in if they hadn't got taxed. I mean, revenue is very largely a function of two things, tax rates and the level of economic activity. The level of economic activity was very high until 2008, so they're bringing in more money. But, actually, but tax revenues actually fell from 2001 to 2002, then they recovered. Would, they have, would the revenues have grown at the rate if the taxes were too high? Well, the evidence is that there's no, there's no clear connection between the level of taxation and the level of economic activity. The biggest growth of prosperity we've ever had in this country was from roughly 1941 to roughly 1973. That was the best years we ever had, and those were years of much, much higher taxes than we have now uh, during wartime and during peacetime. So the economy can grow very fast even with much higher taxes. Taxes were at 70, 80 percent. I know, and yet, yet, and yet we were very prosperous. We were extremely prosperous. I mean, uh, I, we had uh, the highest rate was in the 90s during parts of the 50s, and yet we were very prosperous. That might be the last time you see Ben Stein on Fox News. Because he's absolutely right. You go look it up anywhere you like. 1941 to 1973, tax rates vary between 70 to 90 percent. The most prosperous time we've had in American history. Also, the most progressive time we've ever had in American history. It works. It actually brought in more revenue, better economy, more jobs. That's what Fox News doesn't want you to know. That's why I kill myself. Wait, 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 the revenue. Didn't it go up in a bush or something? Oh, come on, come on, help me out, Ben. What are you doing? What are you doing on here? Well, I, I don't know why he decided to do it, but he decided to tell the truth. And that, that's the reality. So when they tell you, oh, no, no, tax cuts help the economy, that's not true. Tax cuts help the rich. That's the whole point of Fox. That's the whole point of the Republican Party. That's the whole point of Mitt Romney. It isn't to help you. It's to help themselves. If they wanted to help you, they'd go back to what we did from 1941 to 1973 when we became the indisputed economic power in the world.